We're gonna play again. I know you guys are all leaving in droves. Like, damn. You flighty too hard. Let me get out of here. No, but, um... I want to make this work. Wait, what? You lose energy, but you retain two random Bosch products? Encounter a random event? Two random Bosch products for losing... Yeah, let's do it. Gain energy each time you draw a card. Drawing a card increases its cost by one for the turn. At the start of combat, add a random curse to your draw pile for each X cost card in your deck. At the start of each turn, exhaust all depleted cards. Gain energy each time you draw a card. This is a weird start. Yeah, I, but I, the way red braid is that if you were to receive three attacks in a turn, so it's not even if you fully defended it. It's, it reads as if you were to just receive three attacks, which makes it significantly worse. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, so a hamster wheel. Oh. Oh. Now I understand why they want to reduce X cost cards, uh, X cost synergy. Uh, that would make sense. So X cost cards can't be exploited as much. Keep on running, baby. Snake Y, anybody? Can we get a Snake Y, please? So, technically, it's like an energy relic. I'm actually gaining... It's as if I have full energy right now. Except on this turn. It's weird. I have like six and a half energy. It's weird how it works out. <laughs> so, I can play a three-cost card alongside... So, I could play... If you were reverse effects, I could play a two-cost card and two one-cost cards. So, like, full energy worth of cards. But it's like six and a half in the sense that I can't play. I don't have eight energy. It's not. A, it's not a perfect amount of. Uh, like right here, this is for 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 all intents and purposes, it's four energy for me, for the most part, because I have a lot of two cost stuff like ceremony. It's good for playing high cost stuff. Exactly. Could have had a, a free heal there. So do you, so this is like an extra card I can play. So this becomes three when I draw it, and which becomes more relevant, so that I can play a fourth card in my hands. So I'm gonna do that. So I can get Ring of the Snake and After Image, and that means opening hand is gonna draw nine cards, which means no, it's gonna draw seven cards, which means I'm gonna have nine energy in the opening hand, and we have After Image. We're replacing the pl plumage with the after image in order to get back a prep. Here we get stuff repair of Scorching Beam. What is Scorching Beam? I'm losing one card to get Scorching Beam. I guess I'm okay by just losing that. What's... Hellfire. At the start of your turn, gain two strength until the end of your turn. When evokes, applies... So that's another two cost card, which is very relevant with Hamster Wheel. That's actually very good. Now I know what that is. I'm doing good, Super Hot Mate. How you doing, buddy? That's actually really good. Replace all enemies weak with vulnerable. Sloth. Ceremony. Machine Essence. We can do, take another Ceremony. And maybe Machine Essence is right here? Ah. Now that's a lot picture at the moment. Yeah, I'm not losing my heal. So I did the one where I lose ceremony, which is just my two my ritual power. But uh, yeah, the Hampshire Well is actually the most of the time there's an upside. And Hellfire.
It's like a flex per turn, which is relevant with, um... It looks beautiful, by the way, but it's also... It's, it works well with uh, artifacts. And that Sacrificial Attack is a great um, finisher. But I want to maybe milk this for some healing. And that's kind of cool. It works well with artifacts, so you can maintain all that. It's like an extra ritual in a way. Devastation. When you draw a depleted card, one more, draw one more card. When you gain five block next turn, you gain one more energy, which ends up being, if I do Foresight, I could play four cards reliably a turn. Wait. Now, Insight with Hamster Wheel is a very good synergy because... I'm seeing more cards, but also getting energy for the card. I like that. I should have scorched me, maybe. Nice. Nice. You know what's so crazy about inspiration, guys? It's basically giving me energy for free in the sense that since you're drawing it and exhausting itself, it does the cost reduction doesn't count on it. So it's just being energy gain. That's amazing. milk this as best we can and that's all that's all we can milk more inspiration now talking feathers is interesting does this work of hamster wheel so is it the after hamster wheel cost if so that's great block I just try to be sure to exhaust all depleted cards. Why would I like that? But the Tucky Feather seems really good with the wheel. If it's... Like, Inspiration is very good as well. Because Inspiration is just, like, exhausting itself and giving me tons of energy. But that, that has the potential to give me a block, so I like that. Now... I think it's draw three cards, which ends up being even better. And we also want to make <laughs> the um, we want to make inspiration innate. Nice. Hamster wheel and talking feather is amazing. What's funny about this is that technically I only have one string so far from ritual. But because of Hellfire, it's kind of nice. But I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm hoping that he doesn't attack me next turn. Take care, Chrissy. Thanks for stopping by. Draw one card. If it's an attack, deal five damage. Draw two cards. Gain six block equal to the six times your strength. Then lose all strength. Wither one. Game block equal to six times your strength. Let's do a daydream here. The scorching beam here. Daydream plus. Yeah, we want to make insight innate. Wow. Wow. Hamster wheel.
Ow. Super hot, man. Thanks for the follow, buddy. Well, this is relevant now because it's 12 damage AoE, but... I, I can still just play it now. Because I'm only losing one strength technically. Because of the Hellfire, so I'll just play it now and then... Now we have three rituals, so... Wait, what happened with my... Why did I have negative two strength there? Oh! Because of the passive of Hellfire. Okay. I see you. It's a cool deck. So when I use this again, it's going to evoke this one, which applies vulnerable. That's a great... Uh, Scorching Beam is amazing. I love it. Toxic egg. Wow. Wait. Unplayable cards. Yeah, so they're great. Hampshire will give you energy whenever you draw a card, yeah. But then it makes the card cost one more for the for that turn. Um, now, this is interesting because Inspiration is an unplayable card. So, at the end of your turn, replace all unplayable cards for each deal damage to a random e enemy equal to your strength plus one. Retain. Gain zero block. Block increases by one for each card you play while this is in your hands. Wow. Okay. Spend one ritual. Gain one plate armor at the start of each turn. So this is a scaling plated armor, which is very nice. This is going to be upgraded because of Toxic Egg, which is going to be increases by two for each card you play. So this is kind of nice. Now, the, oh, I'm curious about this though, because we have Inspiration right now. So with this, we're going to be getting, retaining all our Inspiration. Now, how is that going to affect my draws? If I retain my Inspiration, wait, does that work that way? Because it doesn't Inspiration like, exhaust itself the moment you draw it. I think, I think it doesn't work with the Inspiration because your intuition exhausts itself the moment you draw it, right? So this doesn't work there. So I think we need to do brace your body. Yeah, I like the brace. Ethereal is greater than retain, but it's not that this has ethereal. It's that inspiration is exhaust when drawn. So I never read at the end of my turn. I don't have it in my hand. So there's a problem with. Oh, this is a different run. Hey, what's up, Gizzy? Wizzy? How you doing, buddy? That's what you were saying. Rich, you like ritual body? I mean, if you upgrade it, then it's kind of nice. And having two cost cards works better with Hamster Wheel. But I'm going to do Brace because it's upgraded with Toxic Egg. And the fact that it just retains. I, this gets keeps getting stronger. I like Anchor very much. We're going to go for another two elites. This deck can actually justify it. So we can take off our pants or we can upgrade our pants. And let's take off our pants. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, this is a perfect fight for us because here we can just... Play all our powers and let Brace get nice and juicy. I could even do this because it doesn't wake him up and Brace gets bigger. Oh, the Brace is going to be like genetic algorithm for the turn or for the combat or like a buffer. And we can just make Brace nice and big. And we're also going to be gaining a lot of strength. So this is going to be a very, very free fight. Let's do Daydream. Let's do Tucking. Wow. Wow, let's do Ceremony Insight. And let's wake, he's waking up, so let's wake him up now. The most ideal wake up there is. Embrace is going to be uh, a buffer if I can't block. If the guy doesn't die, just straight up. Alright, so Tucking Feathers is awkward with Inspiration, because if it draws into Inspiration, then Tucking Feather doesn't get the same block. But it still will still get energy gain. So I think it's still net positive. Let's just let's do let's just get our defense out of the way. Do we care about the defense actually? 
You can play how many cards? You can play uh, six cards right now, right? All right, play six cards. Hamster Wheel is so is much better than Energy Relic. That was actually great. Now let's do this. This one, two, three. Do I want to do... Nah, let's do this. Let's do... So, Scorching Beam plus Sacrificial Attack is going to be... Close to lethal. In fact... It's practically lethal. So, I'm going to do Brace, and then the Scorching Sacrificial Attack, and kill him next turn. I thought I said Attack two times. Am I mistaken? Oh, it affects it two times. Ugh. Derp. I misread that. I might have just punted. I think we're still fine, but that wasn't very smart. Okay, we're fine, of course. Ooh, obtain a skill that draws two cards. And up so this is great with Hamster Wheel. You get a skill that draws two cards. Obtain an additional copy for every other 12 cards as your deck. It's like Pot of Greed. Oh, but you can't play another one that turn, so that, hmm, that gets kind of awkward, huh? Add three Psalm cards to your hands. A zero-cost attack that deals three damage to all enemies and has Wither 2. Foresight. More energy. Eight block. A zero-cost attack that deals three damage to all enemies. So that you just dump our strength. All right, so wait. Wait, that's so good. Recite with Fish Sticks is so good, isn't it? Oh no, that doesn't work that way, right? Because it's only with it for that turn, right? It's only with it for that combat. It's good for Brace, but Brace is already getting nutty on its own. But Brace isn't Brace exhaust, so it's a one-time thing, and it's already gonna be great on its own. I don't need Recite to make that stronger. Now it's almost interesting with the fish sticks, but I feel like this is only for that combat, so the wither's not relevant. Otherwise, I could play this, and if it ever comes into my... Yeah, I can always exhaust it. I like the foresight here. Channel 2 Hellfire. So that is basically giving me plus 4 strength. But I want to make this innate. It's free, boys. You got Toxic Egg with Green Jar, yeah. So the upgraded green jar means... You, what's the upgrade of this? Oh, wait. The green jar upgrade it means... Oh, you just... Okay, zero cost... For, draw two. Okay. Okay, okay. So this this elite was created for me in mind, but... Uh, <laughs> that's funny. I keep getting this. <laughs> what? Second first attack confusion. Wait, wait. Switch announced change releases this year. Did you say uh, anything about on the phone release? So Xbox cards will still be good with this hamster wheel because like the this is amazing. I don't know what x cost card I can break the game with. If you get Prismatic Shard, maybe we can find some good stuff. <clears throat> Both are this year. Man, the foam release is going to be huge, Anthony. The foam release is going to be huge. That's a big step. Self-repair mm, confusion. Oh, we can't play attacks this turn. But we have a 41 block brace. We have enough strength that I feel like... Pop the brace that time. 
Yeah, but even with the X cost, the, even with the X uh, cost downside, I mean, it's still not enough to bring down the uh, power. Whenever I add a, a 12 cards, I get another green, green jar, but I don't mind green jar. So, raise your maximum hand size by 2. <laughs> That's pretty relevant, actually. That's really relevant. Replace all enemies weak with vulnerable. Apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Add a random upgraded silent card to your hand. So, isn't... That can give me a malaise, technically, right? Or that could give me a doppelganger, for instance. I, relevant is my new word that I keep using. It's better than saying relevant than like all the time, right? So instead of saying like, 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 I'm saying that's relevant, that's relevant. Before I used to say that's pretty interesting. It just comes and goes. Yeah, my now my hand size is 12. So when this becomes bad, I just get it out of the deck. So I can just use flinch, and when it becomes back, flawless sticks takes it out of the deck. So do I just like this? Yeah, 16 block for one is very nice, and then when it becomes bad, I don't need it. It gets out of the deck. Get a real mock mountain off here. This, I'm, I'm kind of want to do mid Just want to give it a whirl. And you said you want to see enlightenment with this? Yeah, enlightenment would be interesting. Shuffle your regret. Ooh, waffle. Hubris, okay. Sphere dissonance. At the start of each combat, apply three vulnerable to a random enemy. If you have Juju Bracelet, whenever you enter a event room, heal 3 HP. So this is supplies to vulnerable to a random enemy. Bag of Leaves Waffle is very nice because I don't have that much life. Right now it's just max 7 HP. Transmutation. Transmutation with all the energy that I have. So, um, I'm going to get a curse for having it in my deck. But I'm going to be able to play Transmutation with Hamster Wheel. <laughs> Should we do it? Oh, this is what Carl was talking about. Warrior Essence. So deal 2 damage to a random enemy X times. Heal for 25% of the unblocked damage dealt. So things like Feel My Pain, where you gain 6 strength but lose 50% of your HP, is mitigated by having this in your deck. So this is just like a, a single or X cost Reaper in a way. Sort of. It's, it's like a short boomerang that's like a reaper. Whoa! It's the first time I've ever been able to get you live on stream, but finally I'm able to. Been watching your YouTube vids for the last five months. Oh, it stopped talking. Thank you so much, Kilroy. Holy crap, 50 damn dollars. The first time I've been able to catch you live on stream. And you've been my flight oh. entertainment since then. Can't get enough. Keep it up, man. Love you. She just wanted to interrupt me. That, that was her whole plan the whole time. She just wanted to interrupt me. I, I get it, yeah. She, her and I, we have a weird relationship. It's the first time you've been, been able to get live on stream, but finally been able to. You've been watching your YouTube videos for the last five months. Can't get up, keep it. Thank you so much for the $50, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. I'm glad I could be in entertainment. Um, you guys want Warrior Essence? Yeah, Warrior Essence is very good. <clears throat> you guys want this? But the heal doesn't feel that relevant, guys, because I'm, I'm mitigating so much damage. Well, how much damage am I really mitigating? I mean, I'm mitigating damage with uh, Brace for sure, and we're getting getting enough block. I think it's just, once we get to Act 2, though, it's going to start ramping up. I can see this being relevant for Act 2. I think Transmutation is more interesting, though. It's because of Strength and Energy. And these are both things that I'm doing. I know, it's true. These are both things that I'm doing. It feels like it's, it's too good of a card, right? I guess we could get both. But then we get two curses in the deck. I, don't, I shouldn't be taking all these curses. I'm going to regret this. It affects it three times. Sacrificial attack is nutty. That's a pretty relevant upgrade, I would say. Relevant, relevant. Again, I need a new word. The source, please. What is this? Oh, I do love company. So, the curse that I got this combat was normality. Johnson, you are a prophet. A prophet? I'm not happy that you're right. 
Okay, she just wants you to listen to her story. When the story ends in 12 turns, you may leave. Aging. For every 5, 15 damage taken, the Fable Spinner gains one languid. It's like the transient in that sense. I guess I gotta do damage to make it do less damage. I am not happy that you're right about that, Johnson. Pertinent. Relevant. Oh, you see before you a strange forest of trees. Feeling an evil presence, you turn to go back, only to find the trees surrounding you on all sides. You have been swallowed by the woods. The forest is winding and wild, with no clear paths. You're unsure where you are or where you've been. It is as if the trees themselves move when you look away. Encounter something unrelenting. Encounter something slothful. Encounter something heartless. Um, let's analyze the situation. You stop and consider the situation, peering through the heavy fog at the trees surrounding you. You can just about make out some shapes moving around, and they're coming closer. Hello, simple, triple sentries. You count as a minion. Okay. This is a very interesting boss. I, uh... I really like this concept. Just gotta say that. What if Altec discards Brace? That's not good. I'm doing it now so it doesn't discard Brace? Lucky. Lucky. And then they stay there. Okay. As you make your way through the trees, you hear a gurgling and the clunk clinking of metals. Before you, a slime-like creature with a number of strange artifacts floating within. You can see a treasure at the center, but the slime already seems urged by your presence. Obtain a random relic effect. You manage to grab the relic and yank it out. Your clothes collect a fair amount of slime in the process. I got, um, Giria. I got Giria from that. While in hand, exhaust. While in hand, all cards exhaust. Ow. That's pretty good to get gluttony now with slime. <laughs> and powers, I suppose. It gets rid of strikes. I guess I want the strikes. I'll welcome that exhaust. I will welcome that exhaust, actually. Thank you, gluttony. Giria. Giria is the thing that... Where you can lift at the campfires to get strength. You enter an open. You enter an opening in the trees. Inside is a beautiful field full of hypnotizing colored mushrooms. You feel they are not of this world, but even so, you feel oddly compelled to eat one. Let's anger them. I can use I can use brace now, but with war essence in the deck, we can always heal. Am I saying it wrong? Garia is not pronounced Giria. Am I saying it wrong? As you make your way between the trees, you see a banana, a donut, and a box floating about. You seem to remember something like this before, but closer inspection. If there's no stranger tricks holding the objects in place, what do you do? You heal eight, you gain one dexterity, you obtain a random relic. Let's get dexterity. Let's do daydream, tucking. Oh, I gotta be careful with normality, and then scorching. And despite the fact that I'll hit normality, maybe I wanna try to do some damage to. So not only do playing cards make Brace better, but also it gives me healing. As you make your way through the passion trees of the tree, your thoughts become jumbled. You head, your head begins to pound. After a short time, the pain becomes unbearable. Gain three weak, gain three frail, add six days to your discard pile. Um, let's do the weak. Ignore the pain. So every card I play here gets exhausted, so I'm not gonna have strikes anymore, which is problematic. Because of, uh, I don't have any more strikes left in the deck. Because I already exhausted two of them, and all I have left is all of attack, and I guess warrior essence. But this is going to be done in seven turns regardless, right? I guess sacrificial attack is a finisher as well, I suppose. 
Um, let's see what this gives us. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. What? Is this is something I've never seen before? It's something I've never seen before. Oh shit! Guys, we're Twitch partners. Let's go. Thank you guys. We're Twitch partners. Yes. Oh damn, that's the that's this guys. Holy. Sh not only did we get massive generosity from Festive today, now we're getting Twitch partnered. Hell yes, dude. What a day, despite the setbacks as well. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy, okay, nice. Thank you for the love, thank you guys for the spam. I didn't know that was a thing. Thank you for the 100 bits. A speech? Okay guys, it's been a long journey. I'm bad at speeches. 1500 points this run and we take it back? Okay, now the pressure's on, okay. Thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you so much. 300 bits. Speech. <laughs> Speech. Okay, guys. Uh, I've slayed a lot of spires. We did a lot of science. Much to my uh, my regret, but we made, made this little community, guys. We have 200 people right now. We have 300 plus subs. And uh, I want to keep taking it further and take it to the next step. I hope you guys are here for the ride. That got kind of uh, speechy. Or was I supposed to be trolling? I got kind of speechy there. Oopsies. Thank you, guys. I gotta do emotes now. <laughs> Bible thumb. I guess this is the thing that happens when you get partnered. I, I didn't realize this is the thing. This is super awesome. Is this a dragon game? <laughs> so, enhanced ability. Gain either two strength, two dexterity, two focus, or this is just all positive, isn't it? Oh, I get to choose. Is the main reason most of us work here? Super hot. We, we got partnered on it, so now like, all the staff came in here and they just congratulated me. We did it, germs. Thank you for Everyone the $10 dollars give SD. yourselves a pat on the back. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> Ugu Bear is great at making emotes, just FYI. Okay, I will, I will, um, I will bookmark that. I'll bookmark that. Thank you. I like it. it, it there's some nice emotes. Yes, yes, yes. I wasn't a partner, no. Uh, we can do two strength, two dexterity, 28, or two focus. Two focus means we get four strength every turn, right? But it doesn't, it's just passive strength. I don't think it's really that relevant. Let's go for dexterity. I know, so <laughs> it's, it's been an awesome day. It's also, we also had our router get headbutted and we had our power get tripped by her elbow. So yeah, it's been <laughs> quite the dichotomy here. Um, I don't really have that many attacks actually from this. I'll just do whatever attack I have just to get this out of my deck. Oh, we have two strikes. With no energy. Whoops. I knew that. Oh, but we can draw two and gain energy, right? Why, why, why is Intra not working? Am I missing something? My energy is like capped. Am I missing something? Yeah, but I just drew. Wasn't that supposed to? Oh, I draw X for fun too. What does for fun too mean? Whoops. Yeah, violence doesn't draw. It just puts it into your deck. That makes sense. Okay. This is the same concept. So like secret technique. Would... Wait. So inspiration though, is a skill. So is inspiration. I can draw it, exhaust it. So you can't use Secret Technique on Inspiration. Okay, good to know, good to know. I guess Green Jar was the play. I mean, to be fair, there was a possibility that uh, we hit normality, so. 
Add four magical components to your draw and discard piles. If five are ever in your hand at once, they become 42 damage attacks. Excuse me? What? Thank you. A non for skill of beast, a tier one sub. Welcome to the germ pool. Thank you, Caterberg. Thank you for all the kind words. I'm maybe not good at showing appreciation, but um, I've been really wanting to get partnered. So uh, it means a lot to me. I was uh, I was thinking like, I, I was like, checking my email a lot. I was just because I wanted to get partnered. So it means a lot. Because <clears throat> I put time into Twitch. I put time, I put a lot of time and energy. So it feels good to be, you know, appreciated or, you know, validated, I suppose. So we fight slimes, we fight beasts, and we put gremlins. We fight gremlins. Uh... Let's fight some beasts. I don't. I'm not sure what that's referring to. Oh, jawworm. Oh no, not jawworm. Uh, Normality's in the deck still. If I, it says four components in one turn, right, or in a combat. Is it one combat or is it in the turn? Or if you ever have five in your hand. Oh, got it. That's not gonna happen. Doppelganger? Is this a turn where we're bracing? Oh, she's, she's starting to attack now. Is this a brace turn, or do we try to draw and try to avoid normality? I suppose we could do this, actually. So I avoid... I avoid using brace now, but then maybe we can try to draw out normality here. That's good. When she does, when she does attack, that that's the. When she does attack, that only story consequences. She doesn't attack directly. As you go deeper into the woods, you discover a glowing tesseract spinning and shifting gently in the air. You could add one colorless card to your hand and take four damage two times. Yeah, it's take less damage. She's doing a debuff. So what is this from Hubris? Is this is from Me Play This Fire. I got it. I'm um, scared of normality. Mm, let me see here. That's cool. That's, that's, that's cool. I'm gonna take the risk. Oh, hello. Draw one card, draw additional cards. Wait, what? <laughs> With Hampshire, well, this is insane. It's an X cost draw card. That's a really good Hampshire, but I don't want to do it right now. Okay, if I hit normality, it's gonna suck. I'm gonna do it. Wait, wait, why didn't that work properly? Did I miss something? Did I do something wrong there? Did I miss something there? Hamster wheel. Whenever you draw a card, you gain energy. And then each card that you draw has one cost increase. Oh, it's the card you draw? Oh, I misread it. I thought it meant like this card meaning itself, like sneak, but it means the card that you draw. Okay. That was unlucky. I misread that. I want to remove normality so bad from the deck. I'm living in constant fear of this normality. It's not a nice feeling. The bomb? Oh my- Yo. This grinning jar, like, everything this deck is doing... Oh, I could have done ritual component, actually. If I left the ritual components, I could have actually gotten the, the Exodia effects. That's something to consider. Let's do Foresight and Doppelganger. It's not going to I know. Become confused, become slowed. Let's become slowed. 
So brace, worst case scenario, I use brace if I make it get out of control. Tactician, okay. So that's 69. Is it worth it? All my things that I work towards, all that strength, gone. Add a random potion at the start of each round. Really? Should I brace? Yeah. Take 32 damage. Take 43 damage and obtain one wound. What? What's my life right now? Oh, we had block, thankfully. Deal 20 damage. Well, I gotta make way for the new potions coming every round, right? What if it discards normality here? Worth a shot. Let's, let's put um, this into our deck. Fight beasts. Strength pot. So I could just. So if it hits her, well, one second, we, I wish this was AOE actually, all greedy, let's hope we're going to hit normality here, or is it in discard already, because we, we can draw freely, Draw is not a problem for us. I missed a sub. I am sorry. Sometimes I get it. So I'm used to think I'm Muxi, and Muxi uh, sometimes misses sub. Oh! Thank you. Welcome, Tank. The name or Tanks? The name. Welcome, man. Thank you for the uh, subscription to a this month. So I have no fear of. Oh, I'm getting rid of ritual component. I guess it's fine. Whatever. I don't really care about the Exodia effect. I want to play the bomb. Well, we can, we can end this turn with Panic Button, right? Is that going to bite me in the butt next turn? Most likely, isn't it? Maybe I should have done a Foresight, Foresight in, in hindsight here. Because I'm slowed. The more cards I'm playing, the worse I'm, it's getting for me. But we have War Essence in the deck. I'm doing that. That might bite me in the butt next turn. You come across an inconspicuous pedestal with a shining gold idol sitting peacefully atop. You are overcome with the desire to obtain this object. You must have it. Blind to your surroundings to step forward. Add three wounds. Take 18 damage. So I believe if I can see the fight, I have a little bit extra block. Oh, that attack is part of the story. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Derp. I have no block here. This is the end of the story, I believe. And we're done. That's it? So it's kind of cool that I got this potion thing. What happens if you killed her? Anything special? Why didn't I worry, Essence? Because uh, it's a single target. And I was going to block for full. And I think I was full life already? I think I was full life already. That's why I didn't do it. And it was single target. I guess I could have done it at the end of my turn, right? Because I had one more energy. Yeah, you're right. I could have done it for one energy. Lose six HP, gain three max HP. You cannot heal for three turns. So this is just a feed. But you don't got to kill anything. You just play it. 
If you have less than if you have less than fifty percent HP when drawn, deal twenty damage to all enemies. Interesting. Gain one intangible for each strength you have. Wait, what? Gain one intangible for each seven strength you have. Wait, isn't this insane? Because it doesn't exhaust. And if you get enough ritual, you. I mean, seven strength is, takes a while with ritual. It takes like. Uh, Three ceremonies, it takes two turns plus the Hellfire, right? With the Hellfire thing, then I, it makes it easier to hit that. So I, all I need to do is Scorching Beam, and I need to do um, three rituals. And, and two turns plus that, I can do this every two turns, technically. I can get intangible for every two, two, two turns. I'm going to do Scars, I suppose. Because I have enough mitigation that I think the not healing is not that bad. You can no longer gain gold. Draw one more card each turn. Retain up to one card each turn. So we can draw another extra card, which is Hamster Wheel, and we can retain a card. You get an extra card choice on card reward screens, and on pickup, you get an extra potion slot. And you cannot skip rewards. So we're drawing extra card per turn, which gives us energy, and uh, we're retaining cards, which is interesting. When you would die in a combat, immediately restart the fight with 20 max HP. Regain your original max HP. Heal to 50% of your max HP, and rich and recharge this relic if you win the fight. That's cool. It's like a better, better lizard tail. But I think I want to do the honey jar here. And honey jar with uh, grinning jar is like... I cannot skip rewards. Oh, that's, I just realized I can't skip rewards. Whoops. I just realized I can't skip rewards, so... But it's not the end of the world, because we're only going to be... Oh, no, that's, that's an after act one. So we're going to be having a really, really big deck. Oof. Uh oh. But yeah, the downside of Honey Jar is Greeting Jar kind of makes up for it, so that's kind of funny. I want to remove Normality ASAP though. Did we remove a card yet? I'm not sure if we removed a strike. No, we haven't removed a card, so we can remove Normality. Oh, wait, Normality only happens at the beginning of combat. Oh, that's right. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I knew that. I, yeah, I can't remove normality because it comes from the beginning of the fight. So I just have to hope that I don't get normality, which makes that a little bit worse. In fact, I probably want to remove like Warrior Essence. I don't think that I think the downside normality or the potential potential normality is not worth Warrior Essence. What, what did we get here? We got clumsy and uh, over encumbered. Partnership speech. <laughs> I actually did a speech there. Yeah, the frail sucks here, but... Oh, we retain a card, right. Which is interesting because it goes back to the regular cost. So I cannot heal for three turns, but if I... Since we're hunting I can retain this and then use it at the end of the fight, which is kind of nice. Game one dexterity, discard a random card, refund three. Refund returns energy spent on playing the card. Up to the refund value. It exhausts after three uses. Nice. It's just time for Warrior Essence. Or do we hold on to Warrior Essence, actually? I think we hold on to Warrior Essence here. Or play it now. One problem that just happened though, it discarded my second versus scars, which I want to hold on to for the max HP. But we'll draw back into it. So I can heal the full after the fight. So with this in the deck, I guess I don't really care how much damage I'm taking. As long as I'm not dying. And we have self-repair as well. 
So this, 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 this deck does a lot of nothing. It just does a lot of nothing waiting for something to happen. But I guess it's pretty good at finding strikes. <laughs> Suffer pair um counteracts suffer for scars. So if I do this now. Oh <laughs> I forgot that it does a lot of damage. Whoops. I meant to do suffer for scars and then that. <laughs> Whoops. I have warrior essence. I meant to do it the other way around. Okay. Cursing blood they is like so with, for the heart, that's actually really good. They lose five strength. That's probably what I need for the heart. I'm gonna take it. Talking feathers is very good for the deck, but So I said I can fight the merchant? How does that work? I have to spend 167 gold to fight him. That's unfortunate. How much do these sell for? Top right. Perhaps you can steal it. Oh, let's steal this. Amnesia. What does Amnesia do? At the end of your turn, exhaust your hands. Wait. Deal five damage plus an additional five for each of this cost for fun one. Why didn't it do damage? Why didn't it do damage there? Did I just get baited? Why didn't it do damage there? Are, are you not allowed to kill him? Is that what it is? Is just like, just die? Is that the whole thing? The whole shtick? Is that really an X-Cross card? I had energy for damage there. It costs a zero, not X. It changes when you try it. Oh, it, these cards have Sneko. That's what's happening? Is that what's happening? It's a, they have Sneko, so they're randomizing to X? Yeah, they gotta not do that. That's I'm like so confused. But, so it shows this X cost card, but then doesn't actually do anything did it, did it did it show it as zero is that what happened that's the point it's not going to be confusing you're right you're right so if he runs away then i die I, I, let's find out you have to fight him I was, I was gonna take with magic. Yeah, I didn't draw it. I, I got it into my hand with transmutation. Transmutation becomes an awkward card then because it it keeps adding these X cost cards that are actually not doing anything. Take three damage. Draw one card. Add a copy of this card to your draw pile. Whoa! Oh, what? This card purges and is removed from your deck on use. Start each combat with this card in your discard pile. If I let it be, it dies? I die, basically? Wait, so if I play this, do I die? Or is it just saying die? Either way. Let's play it. I guess it wasn't lying. I guess it I guess it wasn't lying. Hmm. Wow. Great start. I mean great ending. Love it. Sorry. I'm gonna need a new map. I'm gonna need some glasses, actually. Well, I was actually enjoying that run, because Hampshire Reel was kind of insane with Damn, Hampshire Reel was kind of insane with the grinning jar and everything else that was going on.
Those are seem like the best card. Uh, I wouldn't put recommend putting that into your deck.